I'm Kitty. And I'm Jennifer. And we're the O'Neill Sisters. And we're going to show you how to make a filigree wrap bracelet. We're going to show you every step you need to know to make this bracelet. We'll show you how to feed on the mixed metal beads, how to tie knots around the beads, and how to add the clasp. This one is super fun to make and really easy to wear. And if you love the beads that we chose for this project, we have kits available on our blog, runningwithsisters.com. Let's get started. To make the filigree wrap bracelet, the first thing you need is leather cording. We have two different lengths. One length is 70 inches, the other is 35 inches, and ours is coral. And then you need some beads. We've got seven of these gorgeous large filigree beads. These are silver. And then we've got three small silver beads and four small gold beads. Then we've got a silver S-hook clasp. And finally, we have chain nose pliers and scissors. To make the bracelet, the first thing you want to do is take your longest cord and fold it in half. So that's your 70 inch cord. And to fold it in half, I like to take the two ends of the cord, the long cord, line them up, and then just pull the cords through my hand. And now I've got it folded over equal sides. Then what we're going to do is take our shorter cord. This is half the size of 70 inches, this is 35. And I'm going to line it up with that folded end. And now I've got three pieces of leather cord to make the bracelet with. And that's going to be the foundation of the bracelet is this three leather cords. Then we're going to tie a knot at this end, at the loop end here. And I'm going to just align the shorter cord, the single cord, down a little bit like that so it's inside that loop. And I'm going to make a knot here. This is going to be part of the clasp. We have a, an S-hook clasp and it's going to hook right into this. So we're going to tie a knot here. This is a simple overhand knot. I'm going to use all three cords. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a loop like that so my cords are crossing. And it crosses over the top. I'm going to take this piece that goes over the top. I'm going to bring it underneath and through the loop. And just make sure you get so, all three pieces. You get the loop and that loose end. Of that's the shorter, shorter cord, cord. yes. So. so those are the three. And then I want to tighten the cord so that this loop isn't too big. I think maybe three quarters of an inch. Yeah, I think so. So I can kind of roll that knot towards the loop and it shortens it up. It makes this segment a little bit shorter here. And if you go ahead and pull your cord tight and you're not happy with the size of your loop, maybe it's a little bit bigger than you yeah. want or even a little bit too small, you can always just loosen that knot yes. and move it. You can just loosen it like this and then roll it bigger or roll it that way to make it smaller. But there's one end of our bracelet and that'll be part of the clasp. And now we're ready to do some beading. So the beading part is super fun. We've got a fun little pattern that we're going to follow. We're basically going to feed two of the cords through a large bead and one cord through the small bead in a pattern. And we'll show you how to do that now. So I'm going to take two ends of the cord. It doesn't matter which two ends you choose. Just pick them at random. Yes. And I'm going to take one of our large filigree beads and I'm going to feed the two cords through the filigree bead like that and just pull that all the way down. And the beads are designed so that you can fit two cords through that large bead. That's right. They've got a large opening for that reason. And I'm just going to slide it down to the end and then I want to slide a small bead onto this single cord as my next part of the pattern but I want to put a knot in the single cord first and that'll keep the bead from moving around. How far down should I come on that cord? Like two inches? I think about two inches. Okay, so I'm going to kind of eyeball two inches. That seems about yeah. right. Yeah. And I'm going to hold the single cord right where I want that knot to land. This is a little tip. And I'm going to make a loop like that. That's the start of my knot. And then I'm going to take the end and feed it up through and I'm still holding where I made that little crisscross. And that's just going to make the knot land right where I want it. It sounds complicated, but it's not. It's just a little, a little tip. It's the same kind of knot we did for the end. Yeah, It's exactly. just an overhand knot. So now I've got that on there, my little knot. And I'm going to start with a small gold bead. I like that as the, as the first one because we have four gold beads and three silver beads. Yes. And that way we can go back and forth with the single bead yes. between the two metals. So now I've got the knot and the bead, and I'm going to make another knot on the other side of the bead to hold it in place. I'm going to do that same way I did before. I'm going to hold on to where I want the knot to be, make a loop, 
take the end and feed the end up through the loop yes. like that and then pull the knot toward the bead yeah kind of just like that you just sort of slide it like that you don't need to pull the knots too tight mm -hmm. uh, if they're uh, not pulled too tight they have a little bit more visual weight which is nice also when you're done, if you want to rearrange where the beads are, move them around, it's nice. You can just undo that knot a little bit and move it. It's very forgiving. It is. So now I've got two cords going through my large filigree bead, and I've got my knot, bead, small bead knot. I'm going to borrow one of the cords that's coming out of my large bead and pair it up with that single cord, and I'm going to feed those two ends through a large bead. And that's going to be our pattern. So here's my large filigree bead and the two cords. And actually, you see how I'm having a little bit of trouble feeding those through? If you misalign them like that, it tends to feed through the hole a little easier. We kind of put one in and then slide the other one in after it goes through better. It's just a little easier. Yeah. So now I'm just going to pull those through. Got a little bit of a twist there. There we go. So that's two cords through the big bead. Like that. And then you've got one single cord left over. So the single cord that's now loose here, I'm going to take that and I want to make a knot and feed my beads on the single bead about two inches from that bead or that last knot. Yeah. So I'm going to go down about that far on the single bead or the single cord, sorry, and make a loop and make a knot. So every, every small bead will have a knot on each side of it and will be on a single cord. That's a good way to remember it. Yeah. So because we did gold last time, we're gonna do silver this time. Feed that on, pull that through, nice. and then I'm gonna make a knot. My beads are bouncing around here. I'm gonna make a knot right on the other side of that bead, just like we did before. And this part of it doesn't have to be perfect because when you're done with it, you can move the knots around a little bit. You can tighten them up or loosen them up. It's very forgiving that way. That's true. That's a good point. So I like how the silver and gold little beads are fixed and then the big bead can move around. That's a fun part of the bracelet. That's super fun. It gives it a lot of movement. Yeah. And it also shows you why you don't have to be super precise yes. about how far apart the knots are. You really can make it however you want to make it. So now I'm going to borrow one of the cords that's coming out of the large bead, pair it up with the single cord just yes. like we did before. Grab the two ends and then feed them through and misalign them again because that and feed them through another large bead. And now all our beads are on our cords and our pattern, and we're ready to put on the clasp. Here's our clasp, and this is optional, but if your clasp is a little bit open, this is the op the hook part will be open, but the smaller part we want that closed. So if it's a little too wide here, it might slip off the cord. You can take your pliers, like just chain those pliers, and just press that section closed a tiny bit. It's very soft metal, so it's not hard to press. And that'll just keep it from sliding off. We'll leave this side open because that's part of the clasp. And then we're going to put the clasp on the longest cord here at the end. So I have three cords. This one's the longest one and I'm going to feed it through that smaller end that we just closed up there. Feed that through. And what I want to do is I want to fold this longest cord back on itself like that. So I've got two of the cords coming out this way, and then the one with the clasp on it, I folded it back on itself like that. So now it looks like there are four cords. Yes, we've magically turned three cords into four <laughs> cords. There's four cords here. Now we're going to tie a knot in this section, and we're going to tie the same knot we've been tying. We're going to make a loop like that, but with all four cords now. And then we want to feed these up through. I like to do it one at a time. I think it's easier to keep track and make sure all of it gets through there. So I'm going to take one piece and feed it through, and then I'm going to take one piece and feed it through, and then I'm going to take the piece with our clasp and feed it through. And it's just going up through that loop. And that way you're sure to get every single piece through there. Exactly. And now before I tighten this, I can size it. I can try it on and see how it fits. So it's gonna go around my wrist three times. It's a wrap bracelet. So three times around like that. 
this is where the clasp will hook onto the little loop there. And I think this size is pretty good for me. Yeah, that seems nice. So now all we need to do are trim these little cord ends. And it's fun to leave a little bit of a tail there. Do it about half an inch. It's kind of a boho look, you know, a little yes. bit. Kind of a funky look. I'm just cutting about half an inch there. And we're almost done, but you might remember that the other side also had a little end. And if yours is sticking out more than this, you can trim that also. I think that looks pretty good though. It looks really nice. And then to wear it, you just clasp it like that and then wrap it around three times. And there's our beautiful filigree wrap bracelet. Mm -hmm.